Anna? I'm sorry to trouble you, my lord, but I wondered if I might have a word. Come into the library. Matthew, will you take Sir Philip to the drawing room? Shall we go in? As a matter of fact, Sir Philip, I was rather hoping to have you to myself for a moment. Do you know that I was injured during the war? I think I did hear something about it from uh, Lady Grantham. My spine was very severely bruised. And for a time, it seemed I'd lost the use of my legs and everything else. But the bruising reduced and you recovered? Yes, I have heard of this. Uh, well, how relieved you must have been. Yes, but I wonder now whether the, the injury might have affected my... I suppose I mean my fertility, if it may have limited my chances of fathering a child. Well, is, uh, is everything working as it should? Yes. Then, um, why do you think there may be a problem? We're anxious to start a family. We've been married for a few months without any results. My dear Mr Crawley, may I point out the word that gives you away? Anxious. Anxiety is an enemy to pregnancy. Don't, whatever you do, feel anxious. I can run a test if you wish, but I would urge you not to bother. Cora said you were looking for me. Yes. I've stolen the nursery as a sitting room for us. And this is the paper. Unless you hate it. Oh. Is that all? Why? What did you think it was? Cora said you'd been to the doctor earlier. I wondered why. To find something for my hay fever. And what will be used for a day nursery, should the need arise? I think we can worry about that a little further down the line. You shouldn't have rung Murray without telling Papa. You berate me for not wanting to take responsibility, and now you tell me off for doing just that. You can't have it both ways. I can if I want to. What's the matter? Do you think I should see someone? What? If there's anything wrong, then it's obviously my fault. You know what they told us when I was wounded. But they were wrong. They said so. I wonder. Darling, please don't worry. I'm sure there's nothing wrong. That's the point. We're not sure. How was it? <sighs> Pretty bad. Jarvis has resigned. What? He's gone. And I'm going to have to make it all work, or I've had it. Come here. You'll make me untidy. Good. You see, I know it's right, Mary. I believe I can make Downton safe for our children, if we ever have any. But I can only do it if you're with me. But what about Papa? I do love him. Love him, by all means. But believe in me. There. Will that convince you? Convince me again. And don't say, if we ever have any, because we will. Simpson and Tucker, quite a chunk of the estate will be back in hand. We'll be operating a real business. That's why I think the cricket may have come at rather a good time. Why? Because you think if you get a few runs and catch someone out, Papa will accept all this gladly. I think the cricket will show him. It doesn't mean we can't keep up the old traditions as well. And I'm to help persuade him? Of course. You're on my team now.
You can kiss me, but that's it. Why? Haven't you missed me? Desperately. But London seems to have tired me out. to London. I'll ring the office in the morning. I can stay at my club. Don't do that. Aunt Rosamond would love to have you. And I suspect I'll need help controlling Rose. Why do you say that? I'm not sure. Instinct. But when your mother finds out, will she mind? No, she'll be delighted. And so grateful to all of you for helping with my secret. Besides, with Edith as my chaperone, what harm can I come to? Yes? Is the new maid working out? No, not really. I don't think she'll stay. I miss Anna. What do you call her now she's your maid? Anna, I'm afraid. I can't very well call her Bates. No. What's this about? Well, you know Matthew wants to come with you to London. Why shouldn't he? I just need to check which train you're planning to come back on. The three o'clock on Thursday, why? Can you promise not to let him catch an earlier one? Of course not. What reason would I give? You can think of something. Please. Oh, all right. But why is everything always so complicated? Where's Mary? I was looking for her, but Anna said she'd gone out. She's away for the night. She'll be back tomorrow. Oh? Cora, is everything as it should be between them? Between Mary and Matthew? Oh. Yes, I think so. Why do you ask? No. Oh. I find I'm rather impatient to get the succession settled. Robert, it's still early days. I'll write to you as soon as I hear. But it's extremely unlikely there is anything wrong at all. This may prove an expensive journey for you. May I ask you a question, Dr Ryder? Has my wife been to see you? I'm not aware of treating her, Mrs Crawley, but even if I had, I could not possibly comment on it. Of course. It's only... I can't bear to think of her being worried when I know very well that if anyone's to blame, it's me. I'm not sure blame's a very useful concept in this area. Please believe me that probability and logic indicate a Crawley baby yowling in its crib before too long. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mrs. Levinson for Dr. Ryder. This should buck you up. Why did you go without saying, when I knew all along it was me? You know nothing of the sort. In fact, it was me. What do you mean? There was something wrong with... Actually, I can't talk about this sort of thing, even to you. You sound like Robert. Well, I am his daughter. The fact is, it meant a small operation. What? It's all right. It was weeks ago. That's why I've been keeping you at arm's length. I thought you'd gone off me. Anyway, today was just to see if all is well, and he says it is. He says I'm to get in touch with him in six months' time, but that I'll be pregnant before then. So, now we can start making babies. <laughs>